So we're exploring the question about faith. Yesterday we talked about faith as being part of the transition uh, of our relationship with God. I talked about a spectrum, negative numbers, positive numbers. We're all in the spectrum, born in negative numbers, cross over into positive numbers on the basis of faith. Today I want to I want to make a point, an important point, and that is that you can know that you're a Christian. You can know that you have stepped over that line. Now, I speak from experience. Um, I, I know that I am a Christian, and, and if you were to ask me, how do I know that I'm a Christian, I am going to point to the Bible. Um, in uh, John 1, it says, uh, to those who received Jesus, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Now, the Bible doesn't talk about everybody being a child of God. It says that we're not children of God, but that we can be adopted into the family of God. We can become a child of God. Adoption is a very key point. The Bible also uses a different analogy, family analogy, and that is the relationship between a husband and a wife. And so you can, in fact, know <laughs> if you're married. I remember watching one of these, you know, watching a video of, of somebody asking people if they're a Christian and all the different answers that people were given. We're giving, and some, one person said, yes, but without any real experience of a relationship with God. Someone else said, sort of. Uh, another one said, I grew up that way. Uh, and another one said, are you a Christian? And he said, ish. Uh, I'm Christian-ish. So let me just step back and say, if you were to ask me if I'm married, and I said, uh, ish, <laughs> or yes, but without any real uh, experience of a relationship, or I, whatever, I grew up that way, I mean, that, that's a, there's a little problem there, right? That would, be, uh, that would be problematic. So, how do we know if we're a Christian? Um, well, I, I want to say the first way that we know we're a Christian is by pointing to the Bible and to the promises and the statements of God. So um, the Bible is the source of our, uh, of our conviction here. I don't want to discount our feelings, but I want to say that, that we look first, not to our feelings, but to the promises we find in Scripture. If you were to ask me if I'm married to prove that I'm married, I, I, could, I could go eventually and find a a marriage certificate and say, look, here is the documentation uh, of what happened. So there are two passages that I would point to today just as sort of uh, ways to confirm that I am uh, a Christian. Revelation 3.20, this is a rather sort of famous passage. Jesus says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone uh, hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with them and they with me. And so this idea here, especially in, in the Middle Eastern setting where they didn't do fast food, having a meal with somebody was a real significant kind of commitment that you were making, and it, just, it, 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 it is pointing to a very deep and significant relationship. And so Jesus uh, is not forcing his way into our life, but he says, if if you open the door, right, if you, if you receive me, I am, I am standing at the door and knocking. If you receive me, uh, then I will. There's a promise there. It's not maybe I will or if I feel like it, I will, but I will uh, come in. I will enter into a relationship with you. So if you have made that decision, right, then, then the promises that we have from the Bible are that you become a Christ follower. You move from negative to positive numbers. Second passage to look to would be John 10, 28. And Jesus says, I give them eternal life. No one can snatch them from my hand. I don't have a lot of confidence in my ability uh, to be, a, you know, to be a Christian I, or to stay a Christian, whatever. I have a lot of confidence in Jesus. And so he says, I give them eternal life and no one can snatch them from my hand. So the question is, and we'll continue to explore this this week about faith, 
Are you a Christian? Have you crossed over the line? We'll talk more tomorrow. Have a good day.